In this video, I'm going to continue working on this assignment. And in particular, I'm going to do the last part in the assignment. It's this part, the paperclip. This picture was taken from the assignment. Let's start out by creating a new part. And a new sketch on the XY plane. To draw a rectangle. And the width, let's make that 0.28. And I'm going to subtract the wire diameter, 0.031. Tab and the height, make it, make it 1.25, and I'm going to subtract the wire diameter, minus 0.031. I use this offset command, and I'm going to create an offset rectangle towards the inside, and the offset, I'm going to make it slightly larger than the wire diameter. The dot wire diameter is 0.031. I'm going to make the offset 0.032. That's just to provide a little bit of clearance between the wires in the paper clip. I'm going to create some circles using this tool, the circle tangent. Let's choose this line, this line, and this line. And then I'm going to choose the inner rectangle. Should look like that. I come down here and I'm going to create the same type of circle, but I'm going to choose this line, this line, and then not this line out here, but this inner line. I'm going to turn on construction and I'm going to draw a straight line and I'm going to find the center of this rectangle. And when I do, it'll be a green dot. Select it and draw across. That's where my wire will start and end on this construction line. Right mouse button, OK. And I'm going to move this dimension so you can see the so you can see the construction line. I'm going to turn off construction. And now I'm going to delete these all the horizontal and vertical lines. I was using them just as construction geometry using my delete key. Delete the horizontal ones too. I'm going to turn off construction. Choose my line tool. I'm going to draw a line from here down to the midpoint, from here down to the second circle, from here up to this circle, and from here down to the midpoint line. I'm going to choose my trim tool. I'm going to trim out these lines. And there's the outline of your paperclip, the wireframe. Right mouse button, OK. I'm going to select this construction line and delete it using my delete key. I'm going to finish my sketch. And now I'm going to draw another sketch. And it's going to be the profile of my swept pattern. And it's going to start right at the end of this line. So I'm going to create a new work plane parallel to a plane through a point. And I'm going to make it parallel to the XZ plane. And it's going to go through this point, the end of that line. I'm going to create a sketch on this work plane, the new work plane I just created. 
new sketch. And I'm going to choose my circle tool at the origin and make the diameter 0 0.031. Finish your sketch. So now I have two sketches and I'm going to use a new command. It's called sweep. And notice that it automatically, it's looking for profile and it automatically chose the last sketch I created, which was the circle profile. Now it's asking for the path. And I'm going to select the wireframe I created, the previous sketch. And you notice that that profile followed the wireframe that I created and created my 3D object. And there it is, my paperclip. I'm going to turn off this work plane, right mouse button, turn off visibility. I'm going to save my part. And I'm going to create a new drawing. Place my base view. I'm going to make the scale just a bit larger. I'm going to change it to 6 to 1. I'm going to select the view and a right mouse button and project view. And I'm going to put a, an isometric in the corner. Right mouse button create. I'm going to select the view and I'm going to shade it. Turn on shade it. I'm going to create a section view. And select this view. And draw a horizontal line here. Move my cursor up, right mouse button, continue. And let's make the scale much larger. Let's make it uh, 15 to 1. Move it up and out of the way. Move the title down just a bit. Let's select Annotate. And my Center Mark tool. Let's select these circles. Select Dimension, Dimension the Diameter, Select Eye Properties, go to Summary, change the title to 5.5 Paperclip, and change the author to your name. Go to File, Export to PDF, and submit the PDF drawing to Canvas to complete your assignment.